Check out these great examples of what a little 3S and creativity can do by taking just a few minutes every day to make a positive change. We'll start out by sharing the improvements William made on a cabinet located underneath their table saw. He began by taking a scrap piece of wood and placing it on top of the cabinet. This reduced the amount of dust that would build up inside the drawers to reduce cleanup requirements. Next, he improved the top drawer contents by removing the WD-40 along with the glide coat, which was on top of the table saw and had no designated home either. And he placed them on a magnetic shelf located on the side of the cabinet for easy acquisition. This is a perfect opportunity to point out one of the reasons we share these improvements. By sharing improvements with others, we may just give them an idea where they can implement the same or similar improvement in their own work area. You can see how this idea has been implemented in many areas. The table saw indoors had a can sitting on the drawer, on the table, or on the floor. Now it is right behind the operator on the wall. And the glide coat for the jointer used to be located across the aisle on the wall. It now has a home right at the workstation, reducing almost all of the motion to acquire it. And the can located at the planer used to be located on a glue bin or the wall just behind it. It is now within arm's length. And Josiah in Faceframe has also implemented this improvement by making a home for their glide coat right behind the start switch of their corner style molder. So when you watch these videos, don't be afraid to ask yourself if you can copy the same idea in your own area if they have the potential to reduce waste. Okay, back to William's improvement. He then placed some of the most common tools in this top drawer and standardized their home using Kaizen foam. And moving down to the next drawer, he took the dado blade set, which was often left on top of the table, and made a home for it, along with the dado brake cartridge and related components. He standardized the home by having labels made to clearly mark what is inside. He then utilized the third drawer to consolidate and label the biscuit joint pieces to keep them clean and standardized. And Ryan from Special Parts also did some excellent 3S on their drawer containing spacers. The spacers had a home in a specific drawer which is good, but they were not standardized inside the drawer, and being all mixed together required a person to dig through them to find the desired spacer. Ryan made a home for each size, which can reduce the wasted motion. Peter indoors improved their glue bin by improving the lid with a simple fix. As you can see here, the gap between the lid and the bin was significant and caused the glue to dry out and required more effort to prep the bin for use each day as well as more water needed to be added to prevent dry out and reconstitution of glue to preferred viscosity. By simply making a notch in the lid to fit over the bin, the lid now sits flat. Nice work Peter for taking just a few minutes to fix what was probably bugging everyone who uses this tool. Have you ever gone to grab a pen that is supposed to be in a specific place only to find out that it walked off on you? Then you spend the next minute or two looking around the area to see if it just got misplaced or fell on the floor or something? Then you maybe go to some of the recent places you've been and still you can't find it. Then you see Bob running off with your pen. Well, Alan took the steps to make sure his pens stay put by attaching them to a lanyard or placing a large label on the pen, which prevents people from accidentally walking off with it. Since making these changes, Alan has reported that the pens have always remained in their designated areas and are always there when he needs them. No more wasted motion looking for pens, not to mention the millions and millions of dollars spent replacing them and the extra plastic consumed. Save the whales, save the whales, we're doing what we can, we're in your work and save the whales, we're not wasting plastic, save the whales. Ryan here made a designated home for their clamps, located in the special parts department. Amber in assembly had the idea of having the placement of pilot holes changed on upper cabinets. The face frame department used to graciously apply them to the bottom of the face frame. These pilot holes are great because it enables assembly to pre-apply a hinge plate to the frame before attaching the doors. This is much easier because the operator no longer has to apply hinges to the face frame using a spacer and while attached to a door, which was much more awkward. Having the hinge plate pre-installed enables the operator to snap the door in place to the pre-applied plate, and then simply apply the other hinge with the door automatically held in place. 
The challenge they faced with the pilot holes on the bottom of the frame was that the operator often had to walk around the cabinet to apply the doors due to the larger size of the upper cabinets. There were also some defects caused by this process, as the hinges would habitually be pre-applied to the frames, only to find out that some doors were full overlay and needed different hinge spacing on the bottom. The hinges would then have to be removed and placed in their proper location. Amber's idea to have these pilot holes applied to the top instead of the bottom prevents this defect because the spacing is the same on the top of the cabinet, regardless of the change in style. It also reduced a lot of motion because team building operators can now stay on the same side of the line to apply the upper doors instead of having to walk around to the other side. Nice work Amber and face frames for your cooperative change. My name is Philip. I have over 40 years of construction experience and you learn something every day. Did you know that there is over 50% more profit to be made in your construction project just by identifying things that add no value to your project or in other words waste? There are eight of them. Defects, over processing, waiting, non-utilized talent, transportation, inventory, motion, extra processing. This is what downtime does to your profits. It blasts them away. Yes, your dollars go all over the place except into your pocket. We have a typical electrical crew performing a rough in on one dining room kitchen remodel. Watch as we track their motion. Could you see the waste? What we just saw happens every day. We see where technicians, in this case electricians, are very busy. What Lean teaches us is how to see what activities adds value to the project and what activities do not. In fact, as we are about to show you, many times the non-value adding activities cause additional waste. In the center of the room, you'll see the very first waste, inventory. Now you might be thinking, but the electrician needs material, and the answer is, of course he needs his material. But one of the questions that come to mind is, there a better way the material can be made available at the moment and place it is needed? We see motion waste every time the electrician has to cross the room to get material. At times we see one electrician waiting on another to get out of his way. When one individual is waiting on someone else and does not have another task to perform while waiting, affords another waste called non-utilized talent. Our observation also shows over-processing. This waste was manifest itself with extra holes being drilled that were not needed. In fact, when there was poor communication, another waste was made its way into the job site, extra processing which took place when wire was taken overhead between outlets when it could have been run straight across. Because of the lack of planning and no clear assignment for each task, there is a possibility of two more ways. There could be a defect in the circuitry, which could require an additional trip to fix it, thereby creating the waste of transportation. All of these wastes cost money, every dollar, that is spent on waste could be going into your profits. An example, by creating a cart to allow the electrician to take his material with him to each location will eliminate 35% of the motion currently required to access the material in the center of the room. Can you use an extra thousand dollars? Let Lean make your life easier and more profitable while having fun.